Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to affordably update, I should say upgrade, your computer. Uh, unfortunately, in this day and age, unfortunately, the gas prices are extremely high which affects your bottom line when it comes to your paycheck. So that's why I'm making this video to show you how you could do it affordably. Now, before I start showing you anything here, in if money is super tight and you have to upgrade something, make sure it needs to be upgraded if money is super tight. If you have a little bit more, then you could do certain things. So. The site I like to use to get my parts are, I should say, is Amazon.com. Those USB 3.0 controllers I got are from Amazon.com. Uh, a lot of things, fans, keyboards, and stuff like that. Uh, the USB power strip is from Amazon. So, okay. So here's what you want to look for. You want a USB 3.0 add-on card. Now, just to warn you, it's going to need, your computer is going to have to have a PCI Express port. Just so that is. So you type in USB 3.0. Now, you have hub extension cable, flash drive cable, docking station, they do have that. So we're just going to do USB 3.0 and see what comes up. So these are all the stuff. See like this, this is this is actually really good. Four dollars for USB 3.0 is really really good. So if you have to get one for a device that uses it and it broke, this is good. So all these are pretty good. So I'm going to type So here we go. So stuff ranges from through anywhere from $19 to 28. All right, so the thing is you need this card. Let's just say, hypothetically, even though you can plug a USB 3.0 device to a USB 2.0 port, it'll work. But let's, for example here, let's say you need to have the USB 3.0 controller, basically is what this is. So now, you just want something that's very, very basic. You don't need the USB-C. You don't need all these. You don't need this. But this is a good buy for the money. Let me explain why. This one right here only has two USB ports. Yes, it's Amazon's choice. And I, I respect that. But for me, you're getting two extra USB ports free with this one. So basically, if you look at it this way, right? So you just want all external. This one, you're getting two USB ports for free, and it's the same amount of money. Here's the issue though. You it's $14.99 used in new offers, which is okay. This doesn't have that. And it's both free shipping and it's shipped by Amazon. So you're gonna get more for your money that way. Now let's say you want an internal card, which I'm gonna have to actually buy one of these for my uh, Dell 
actually something like this because I need two internal uh, USB ports for a case fan. But let's say you want this one with two internal ones. Now, prices are going to vary. That one's 25 And this one's 21. Look for the coupon on this, right? So for $21, and note I'm excluding taxes because each area has different tax, and I don't want to put out a number out there. And someone says, hey, you said it was this. I'm in California, so it's going to be different where I'm at from where you possibly will be at. So you buy this, right? So you saved yourself $4. Then this way, since it's free shipping, you're getting a good deal. So, and if you just want basic of the basic, this is a good card to buy. You just want two external because it's $12.99. Now, it may not be as fast, but if money is an issue for you and you need to upgrade it for any reason, this is a good buy. Because I've actually bought parts like this that were like $10, $12, and nobody was buying them. And, you know, it wasn't the fastest thing, but it worked for me. Nineteen, same thing. Now this is very, very interesting. Here's what you could do with this. Now let's say, see it says PCIe to USB. Here's the cool thing. Like this right here, it's it, this is modular. So basically what you do is you basically, that's your uh, power source. And if we go here, SATA, SATA power. Okay, so... Not only is it PCI Express, it's pulling power from your power supply, which makes it very usable. It gets all it uses the power that it needs from there. But I don't recommend this one if you're on a budget. I do not recommend it at all. Now I bought this one, which is pretty good. The FebSmart, I haven't had a problem with those. Now, let's say you have certain devices. This is would be good because you have two USB 2.0 ports, and I could tell just by looking at them, I am not looking at that. Three USB ports, and you have, um, it looks like USB-C. Yep, that's what it is. That is a pretty good buy. I might actually get this card, so that way I have USB-C. Even though there are adapters for that, which I will show. Okay, so you need to upgrade your graphics cards. Okay, this, if you're on a tight budget, is out of the question.
So I'm going to click 25 to 50. You don't want anything under that. Okay, so now these aren't going to be the best. Now, I do recommend the best bang for your dollar, as they say, would be this one. Here's why I say that. If you want to do this affordably here, sometimes you have to spend a little bit more even though you don't have it. Here's why. You have your VGA output, HDMI, and DVI. So you could just swap things out. Now, if budget does not allow you to get a card like this, there are adapters you can get that will do it. So they have an HDMI to VGA adapter, which I have. Right, so let's say for some reason the most affordable card you can get only has HDMI. You would get something like this. I don't recommend this because it goes in there and if you move the cable too much you could actually cause the connection to separate from the board that's in here. So I recommend buying this one right here. I have this one, it works extremely well, and it converts it over to HDMI very, very nicely. Because I did that with a PlayStation 3 when I had it, and it worked beautifully. You get the crystal clear picture, not as clear as you can get it, if that makes any sense. So I do recommend that. Now these are not the best cards, but if but if you need to be on a budget, these are what you can get for that budget. So basically the purpose of this video is gas prices are high, everybody's kind of short on money because the you know the bills are piling up. I will I'm making this video to show that you could get things affordably and upgrade it or repair it. So like that PCI 3.0 USB add-on card. My Dell has a PCI, uh, excuse me, a USB 3.0 controller all integrated onto the board. So let's say that fails. I could come on here, order... A affordable card get it put it into my computer it'd be up and running now the downside of this is you do have to wait for delivery but it beats going to a store paying higher prices and using your own gas now This, I'm going to show you something that may not be affordable. Because this is, SSDs can get a little expensive. So, that's not affordable, that's not affordable. This one is the most affordable one I have seen so far. So, if you're trying to do things affordably... This is your best bet, unfortunately, due to the SSD, due to the technology and all that. So that's out. Now, unfortunately, let's say, as I showed, sorry, I'm trying to think here. So I showed you the, the affordable PCI USB 3 controllers, some with USB-C. Now, basic upgrades or repair, 
You need to do a prayer affordably. I wouldn't do that. But if you do need something, you can do to do this affordably. So let's say you get the card. It's easier to spend 10 extra dollars. Now, if the card if the card with the USB-C is about 5 to 10 dollars more, I recommend buying the card. Now, if it's $20 or more, you get an adapter. Here, let me show you this. It's called USB-A, which is the end, which is this end right here. That's a USB-A end. So now, these are dirt cheap. Right? So let's say you get the card. Right? That's 29 bucks. So let's say you get a card, a USB 3.0 card, 12 bucks, right? 7 bucks. It's still cheaper to go this route than it would be to buy the card. Now, oh no, normal circumstances, I would just buy the card with it. But if you got to watch your money, this is the way to go. So basically, what it is, is. This end goes into the regular USB port, and this is a USB-C adapter. Now, if you want something a little different, they make these. So basically, this is still a good price, even though it's 15 cents more. Here's why. I could take these right here, and I could turn every USB port on my machine to USB-C. It's an adapter. So let's say you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because everything works on your computer, but you want to do a cheap upgrade. This is the way to go. So now, if, oh, they have a diagram. So this is what's in there. You have the port right here, the USB-C, and then you have the USB-A. So basically, and me working in the manufacturing industry, this aluminum alloy case is really, really good. It's durable. You drop it if you step on it. It's not going to bend very easily. So basically, you plug that in there. This will stick out a little bit. And boom, you have a USB-C port for l literally no money at all. So let me see how many come in a pack. Because if it's a pack of them, they have videos. And see, that's what I'm talking about right there. So basically, that's what you need. Now, there are USB-C to USB-A adapters. They do make them the other way around. Right. See, that's it right here. Now, this would be only be good if you own a Tesla, a modern day Tesla, because they have USB-C ports. Well, let's say your iPhone or your Android, you use a regular charging cable, plug that in there, you plug the phone charger in there, and plug that in to the port, boom, you can charge your car, uh, phone. So that's what you need. Now, unfortunately, uh, let's go to memory. Okay, as you saw, I updated my daily use machine, Delicious, to have more memory. And I'm, I'm going to come from that aspect when I do this. As I mentioned, there was a problem using all of the new memory. The board didn't like it and it was looking for the factory stick of memory. So I'm going to come from a pre-built a modern-day pre-built 
That's where I'm going to come from. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, it stands for dual data rate, not the arcade game. So we're going to do this. Now, this is where your money can go a long way. Now, especially if it, your computer needs the original stick. That's pretty good. There we go. So that's 56. Okay. So here we go. This is DDR4. This is 16 gigs. Each of these sticks are 8 gigs a piece here. So this is $56.97. Right? So I'm going to get the kit. That's a lot of money right there. All right, so what you can do, and I did this on, so say you have a Dell Inspiron like I do. That computer, a desktop, that computer requires the original stick of memory to be in the first slot. You have two Inspirons. Same thing for both. Here's what you do. In this case, this is where an affordable upgrade comes in handy for two computers, right? You buy this, you put one of them in one computer, one of them in the other. So for $56, you just upgrade the two computers. So this is good if you need it. I'm just talking basic stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now let's say you want to give your computer a cheap upgrade for Bluetooth. Now, some computers come with it integrated, but let's say you have an older machine. So you type in Bluetooth receiver. Just Bluetooth receiver. right? This is $18. So now, which is actually really, really good, The these two are something different. I'll get into that in a minute. Okay, so you plug that into your computer, and there you go. This is affordable. This is actually a very, very affordable price one. Affordably priced. This is even cheaper. I will go with this one if you're looking to do things on the cheap basis here. This is actually an UXIN. So basically, uh, Take your car, for example. Let's say you have a model car that didn't come with it or the dealership wanted too much. You get one of those, plug it in to the UX port, and there you go. So there's that. So that's a $10 difference. So I will go with this one if you're looking to save money on upgrades. All right, with that said, that'll be it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.